Welcome to another unboxing video from theplayersaid.com. I'm Grant. Today I'm taking a look inside uh, the newest game from Osprey Games. This came to me about a, uh, probably a two to three weeks ago, but it is Reiner Kinesia's design, Sakura. And Sakura, for those that don't know, is simply the Japanese word for cherry blossom or cherry tree. I lived in Japan for a couple of years and I can assure you that the Sakura are very beautiful and that the not only tourists and visitors love them, but the, the Japanese people love them as well. So it, it makes perfect sense that a game has been designed around uh, that beauty that is found in nature. So Sakura is a card game. We're going to go ahead and turn over the back. So it's a card game. You can see the cards on the side. We'll, we'll show you those when I open the game. But it's a very light card game. It is somewhat tactical. You're trying to press your luck. You're trying to get your artist as close to the emperor as possible when he stops to view the cherry blossoms or sakura. You press your luck because you want to try to get up as close as possible. But if you press your luck too far, you're going to bump into him and you're going to lose uh, lose prestige. So the whole game is about gaining a certain amount of prestige. Once again, you don't want to go too far and press your luck too far. The game comes with 60 cards, seven wooden figures, some tokens, and then a board uh, that you're going to move those uh, figures and tokens around. You can see here that the, <clears throat> I think the MSRP in the U.S. is $30. Canada is $40. This is a very high quality game. It comes in kind of a clamshell box. You can see the box opens here. Very, very nice art, very well done. Very evocative of the theme. And that's, that's what you're paying for in essence. But the game, as most of Osprey games reprints and games over the last couple of years have been, really high quality art, high quality, th quality thematic play, and this one uh, looks to be very interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and rip the plastic off that I pre-cut. The box has a little damage there in the upper right uh, corner. I, I wish that shipping, we could get away from damaged boxes. I, I absolutely hate damaged boxes, but it is what it is. So here is the clamshell box that I mentioned. If you've watched our other unboxings, uh, Let Them Eat Cake... The Lost Expedition, all of those games have these clamshell boxes. Uh, the first thing that greets you is the rules. I would call this a rules pamphlet. This is not a deep game with a lot of, of rules. It's actually a trifold. So you can see there I'm trying to hold that back to give you a good look. Really a, a five-page rule book, frankly. Three Pages there that I can show you, cover setup, how to play, a round overview, how to move, your different actions with your cards. Uh, here's a look at some of the pieces that we'll look at here in just a moment. You can see there's the wooden figures and then here's the tokens uh, here. And then on the back, you have a couple of play examples, which is always good. I know we played Samurai Gardener, Alexander and I, on New Year's Eve. And it's also an Osprey Games. And they had some great examples of play. Had they not had that, that would, game would have been a little harder to understand. And it's it was a interesting game that we played a couple of times and have not revisited. But anyway, there you go. Five, five pages of rules, not very dense, with some examples of play. So that's a good thing. I'll go ahead and put those off. Here's just an insert talking about their other games. Uh, I was mentioning Samurai Gardener and then the Lost Expedition. And then here is London. I have London. We have not had a chance to play it yet. So I'm going to go ahead and put that aside. Here is the board. It's only a simple board. Three. I'll move this up. So you can see it has three panels. And you're going to have to massage those and lay out some heavy, heavy board games on it to get it. Uh, to get it ready to go, but very colorful. You can see these are the cherry trees and you're gonna move around the path as the emperor moves through the garden and you're trying to get as close to him as possible. I believe there are three rounds. 
Uh, let's just double check that before I totally mess that up. Uh, but I do believe there are three rounds of play and you're gonna move, once again, move along there and try to uh, impress the emperor enough so that he allows you to draw his picture. Here are the tokens. They are cherry blossoms or sakura in multicolors. There's white, nice thick cardboard, very well done. And there's a ton of them, as you can see, uh, different player colors. The game does play, I think it's two to six. Uh, let me double check that before. But I think the game is uh, two to six. And there are 60 cards, 54 tokens, six painters, and the emperor. So yeah, it's two to six players. Uh, but there's those tokens and they, they're very well done uh, and look very, very nice. Uh, these inserts are pretty interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the tokens uh, that I, or figurines that I mentioned to you, I already shown you the, the tokens. Here is the emperor's figurine. It is a wooden, wooden disc that's been shaved down and painted purple. Very nice looking. And then here you have the six available player colors. Black, white, blue, pink, lime green, and red. Uh, so they look very good. And then this insert has a space for the 60 cards. Very well done on their inserts. I think every game that we've had and played, very easy to put away and keep organized. And I, I like that. Simple and functional is what I'm looking for, not necessarily uh, over the top. Having some trouble getting these cards open, so I apologize. The yeah, other beautiful cards though. <clears throat> uh, once again, there's 60 of them. They are very thick. They have, once again, the Sakura on the back in their pink color. And you can see those cards are pretty thick. There you go. They're, they're good, good quality make, good material. These are gonna very wear, uh, wear very well. This is a game that I think that I will break out with my children and uh, wife. They enjoy card games, and I think this is one that they will, uh, that they will like. So you can see there are different, um, these are, sorry, it's the yellow. So that means you're going to move the emperor forward. Um, if it has a negative, that's either, I'm sorry, that's either forward or backward. Choose whether the emperor moves forward or backwards. This one's gonna force the emperor to move forward one. And then there's also a minus, yeah, I can't quite, I don't see, there's a minus. So there's a minus one, you're gonna move the emperor back. And then the other symbols uh, stand for different things. I'm trying to look at the rule book here as I show you this, but you're gonna move, um, this one's a special one. You're gonna count the number of painters between yourself and the emperor, then move one space forward for each of those. So if there's one or two between you and the emperor, you can move one or two spaces. Here, this uh, is gonna say, choose whether your painter moves one, two, or three spaces, either forward or backward. Remember, it has a plus or a minus. There, you're gonna move forward two spots, one spot. The triangle is move the painter closest to the emperor back two spaces. So that's a way to get your, get your opponents who are close to the emperor to have them or force them to move back. And then the triangle that is pointing down or kind of an up triangle. Let me see if I can find an example of that. Of course, oh, there we go. So this one right here is move the painter closest to the emperor back two spaces. So that's, once again, you're gonna to try to get, get your opponents. So really simple, you're gonna get these cards, you're gonna play them, and, and once again, try to get as close to the emperor as possible, scoring points based on how close you are. The gameplay, let me look back at the box. Gameplay is 20 to 40 minutes, ten, ages 10 plus, and like I said, two to six players. So, you know, a fast playing game with some really nice components. I think these are really great looking cards. Bravo, Osprey, as you guys always do. You seem to do very well on your card games. And they look, really look fantastic. 
So that's a look at Sakura from Osprey Games. If you uh, liked the video, go ahead and like it. If you want to leave me a comment about what we can do better or what your thoughts on the, on the game are, I'd really like to know that because I have not played this game yet. Uh, and if you really like what we're doing, go ahead and subscribe and or share our links. We also have a written blog at theplayersaid.com where you can look at more in-depth reviews, uh, unboxings, strategy guides and articles, uh, as well as interviews with various designers. So thanks for your time and thanks for watching. I've been Grant for The Player's Aid.